Abel? Well, they were looking for Jack and heard I was looking for him, too. Jack is still missing in action? Yeah. And he made it sound like he ran off somewhere. His wife, my Aunt Grace, ringing the phone off the hook, wondering if I seen him. Have you seen him? Why are you gonna ask me if I... Bert, I ain't had nothing to do with Jack disappearing. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I mean, because I told you about him hitting on me, and... You said you wouldn't do anything crazy. And I didn't. All right. Look, I know you don't want your aunt to worry, but I think the best thing for us to do right now is just let the police deal with Jack's twisted ass. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Hey, baby girl. Hi. Hey. I need to talk to you. Yeah, your lips feel like they'd rather be talked to than kissed. What's up? I found this in your son's pocket. Wow. Wow is right, Kenny. But I was hoping you'd have a lot more to say than that. <laughs> Look at that. Damn. Uh, hey. <laughs> OK. All right. You're not upset about this? Just will you keep your voice down? That mod is probably just experimenting. You know, this is natural. You know, men do this all the time. I mean, it's, Everyone used to have this in your wallet and keep it in there forever. We need to take this seriously, Kenny. Okay. Amad is not a man. He's a boy. Okay. Okay. Now, I will talk to him in the morning. All right? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What you gonna say? I'll say the right thing. Hmm? Now look, don't worry, baby. It's okay. All right? Okay. Son. Hey, Dad. Hmm? You know, uh, I need to talk to you about something. <clears throat> and you got a girlfriend? No. Well, that's good. That's good. I mean, I mean, not so much that it's it's good. I mean, you don't, so you probably wouldn't Dad, have any. I'm gonna be late for the bus. Ahmad, you're uh. Your mother found a little something something in your, your your pocket yesterday. Something you've been carrying around, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Now, think about it before you answer that question. I only wanted to see what it looked like. And? And nothing. I didn't do anything with it. Come here. What's up? Are you messing around with the girls? Yeah. I mean, you know, sexually and I mean... No. All right. Thinking about it? Dad. Okay. All right. You know, um, you know, I need to to talk to you, you know, about something, and I I, I don't want you to ever forget it, you know. All right? You know, there's one rule when it comes to having safe sex, you know what it is? The only safe sex is no sex. What? Well, exactly. <laughs> that, yeah, that's right. That's right. See? Yeah, good. Come here. Mwah. Yeah, let's see. You know? That, and, you know? And in the meantime, you want to carry rubbers around, don't ever, I mean, never let your mama know where you're hiding them. All right. She'll kill both of us. <laughs> Five copies of these for me. Sure, I'll take care of them. And send them off? I'll put it on your desk when I'm done. Yeah. Thank you. 
No problem. Terry? Yes? Got a second? Yes. So what can I do for you? I wanted to discuss regarding the other night. I want to clear the air. Brian already did. He told me that the two of you spoke, but... Terry, I admire you very much. I respect you even more. You know, I don't think this could be any more difficult. Things could always be more difficult. Yeah, I guess they can. I just want you to know that when I came to Green Norris, I had no intention of ending up in a relationship with my boss. Hmm. Uh, but Brian's a great guy. Brian and I have been friends for a long time. I know what a great guy he is. I guess that's true. I just don't know how all this happened. Well, sure you do. You're working on a case together. And late nights become working dinners, and then working dinners become just dinners. And then dinners lead to you eating yours while straddling Brian on the conference table. I've worked very hard to get here, and my position at this firm is very important to me. Is it? Yes, it is. So, I'm wondering, woman to woman, what do you think I should do now? I wish you would have asked my advice before you found yourself in this situation. Because then I could have told you how many times my male colleagues have come on to me. And how I knew it would be political suicide if I took them up on it, no matter what great guys they were. And I could have told you that every time a female gets involved in a sexual liaison with her boss, she blows it for every woman who was working so damn hard to be taken seriously. So please, don't do it. But that would have been my advice before you got involved with Brian. Now I have no idea what you should do. Okay. Well, I guess that's clear. Excuse me. Yes, we'd like to speak to Tracy Van Adams. I'm Tracy Van Adams. Detective Craig Quinn, Chicago Police Department. This is Detective Chase. You were at my house yesterday. Yes, we were. We'd like to ask you a few questions about Jack Van Adams. Didn't my husband tell you everything you knew? Is there some place we can sit down? I'm sorry, I have a business to run. Yes, you do. It's a shame your husband might cause you to lose it. What is that supposed to mean? Did you know your husband spent a lot of time with Jack right before his disappearance? Families do that. Spend time together. You know, Mrs. Van Adams, your sarcasm is a little insulting. And that's your way of diverting attention away from the fact that you know all about your husband's illegal activity. It ain't working. You know, I'm beginning to feel a little insulted myself. So unless you think you're going to find Jack in this shop, I got to get back to work. You have a nice day, Mrs. Van Adams. We'll be in touch. So, you want to hear the latest gossip? You know I don't listen to gossip. Well, you want to hear this. Lori County thinks that Brian Joan, and... I said I didn't want to hear it. I'd be extremely disappointed to find out that my secretary is the one spreading it. Is that clear? Yes, I'll type this up right away. I thought you said you weren't going to get involved. I'm fine. How are you? Heather told me she spoke with you. And suddenly something she was fine with has her in hysterics. She came to me. I told you I wasn't going to say anything, and I haven't. However, my secretary has just offered to share some gossip with me. Do you want to take a stab at the subject? wasn't about Heather and me. Brian, please, come on. We've been friends too long. You know how this works. You're a male, and your male colleagues find out about this. You're going to get a wink and a pat on the back. Heather is going to be branded your plaything, not a bright young attorney who fell for the wrong guy. What, so now I'm the wrong guy? You're the wrong guy to be acting like the injured party. Now, if anyone gets hurt, it won't be the smart, handsome junior partner who plays golf with the big wigs every Saturday. What the hell's gotten into you? Why is this suddenly so personal? It's not sudden. I felt like this the moment I saw you two on the table. Now, I've decided to mind my business, but it has been very difficult with you and Heather running in and out of my office all day. 
Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Um, Mr. Green is waiting for you, Brian. You better run along. He probably wants to discuss tea off time with you. Think about that. Lamp. I do hope meeting here was complete happenstance. You seen Jack? Brother, I told you. I don't know where your trifling cousin is. But if you happen to catch up with him, let him know to keep up this invisible man routine he's got going. It's good. Now, I try to stay out of the beef between you and Jack, but my family keeps calling me. The cops think I know something, and trust me, I ain't going down for nobody else's shady shit. So Jack's world is finally starting to fall apart. Huh? But do yourself a favor and tell the cops what they want to know and eradicate this virus named Jack Van Adams. You know what I think? Hmm. I think your weasel ass knows exactly where Jack is, but you enjoy this fuck with Lem's head bullshit too much to tell me what you know. Well, that. My weasel ass has to go. You know, I got people to see. Crooked cops to kill. I got your page, you all right? No, I'm not. Two detectives came by here today asking questions about Jack. Shit! Fuck you. Lem, I am a nervous wreck. I cannot have this happening around here. Now, what the hell is going on? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Lem, we've been through a lot. You're working now, and things are finally starting to fall into place. And I will not build my future on a lie. So just tell me the truth. Do you have something illegal going on with Jack? I don't have shit going on with Jack. Nothing whatsoever. Jack is missing, and the cops are acting like he has something to do with it. Yesterday, two detectives came by the house and questioned him. This morning, they came by the shop and had this attitude like I was hiding something. Well, can they do that? Well, yeah, they can certainly ask questions, but it sounds to me like they were trying to intimidate you. Yeah, well, it worked. Well, what does Lem have to say for himself? Lem doesn't have anything to say for himself, Terry. He says he doesn't know anything about it, and I believe him. I was just asking. Well, from what you told us about Jack, it's not like he's exactly a boy scout. You know, tell him what happened to him. Yeah, well, whatever it is, I don't need to have the cops thinking my husband is all wrapped up in it. Mm. Well, don't worry. I'll, I'll talk to my DA friend who works out of Jack's precinct a lot, see what I can find out. Terry, thank you. I owe you. Well, you can pay me back by letting me keep my nephew on Saturday. <laughs> it's all yours. You want mine? I need another one. For what? To put my wallet. Oh, so all you do is put it in your wallet. <laughs> Come on, man. You know I use them. That's why I need another one. Come on, give it back. I need it. I used it. You did? When you used it? The other day. He probably used it on one of the rich lakeside girls. <laughs> <laughs> it was Keisha. Keisha? Ah, uh, Keisha, you got some from Keisha? Yep. And I bought another box of rubber soup. You lying. No, I'm not. Hey! Okay, fine. Look, if you got some, what it look like? Man, it was different from the books. Different from the books, how? Yeah, how? Man, I don't know. I was sticking my thing in there. I wasn't looking at it. Well then, man, I gotta give it up. I gotta give you a prop, yo. Know? 